Mike, yeah. why are you using those bands again? Those are the cheap ones. Look. You have better ones? Yes. I have these strong by design bands. Anti-snap technology. Wait, real fast. You need these too. Click the comment below. Get your free bands. <laughs> So, all right, Frank, okay. let's talk about these bands. Yeah, yeah, show them. Anti-snap. So, super cool. I like our Strong by Design mini bands, and only because, one, I keep these in my gym bag because it has a super awesome bag, right? And I can keep them all together. And Frank, this is actually not like scripted at all. Frank literally doesn't use mini bands, and I do. Never have. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna teach Frank how to use them. So Frank probably doesn't know that there are many different sizes and variations of mini bands. It goes from low resistance, so go ahead and stretch that one. Okay, and what would this be for? Uh, okay, so this one's gonna be low resistance. You could use this for a pump up, right? Or maybe if you're a beginner too, you can use it. As you've stretched it, like, um, so one thing that you can do with mini bands, obviously we know Frank loves his arms. We love Frank's arms. He does great arm workouts, but um, if you hold, one band down here. Well, oh, you can do that. Right so hold it with one hand, just okay. like you did on your like thumb. This? Yep, and then do a bicep curl. Oh. See how easy that is? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> He's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> well, right. what I noticed is, I mean, yeah, that other one snapped. It ripped at this. I mean, it wasn't, my legs didn't go that wide claim shelling it or whatever it was. <laughs> they weren't that wide for <laughs> yeah. sure. Um, so, yeah, so um, I'm not going to unwrap all these for the sake of time. But, guys, all right, so at here at the compound are specific mini bands, strong way to design mini bands. They are anti snap technology, but also with that said, all mini bands aren't created equal. Um, we have five different resistances lowest resistance all the way up to the black resistance, which we are here to torture Frank today. I mean, teach Frank today how to use midi bands and for his legs. So we're just gonna go straight to the black. You guys can open these later. When you get your free ones, remember, they're literally free, get them below. And I'm gonna go ahead and show Frank, I have three movements I'm gonna show you today. We'll go ahead, we'll just go back to that clam shell because we're already there. Back on the ground. Like, oh goodness, back on the ground. Yeah, <clears throat> we're gonna go here and we're just gonna go on the ground, yes. I'll teach you. Now this one's a, little, a lot harder to stretch, yeah. just so you know. He's like, oh God, this is terrible. All right, you get it right back up. Okay. So we have, when we use mini bands, we actually have three different band positions. You have what we call a low band position, which is gonna be just above the ankles. We have a mid band just below the knees, and we have a high band position, which is gonna be just above the knees. Now, when we use mini bands, it's an anchor system. So the closer the band is to the anchor being the hips, the more assistance you will have. The further it is from the hips, the more resistance you're gonna have. Just like a dumbbell. We've talked about this many times in my Form 101. If you're struggling, the further the dumbbell is from the shoulder, for Point example, the more resistance you're gonna get. The closer it is, the more assistance you get, mm -hmm. right? So for this specific one, he can't do it on his ankles because of the actual type of movement it is. So for the clamshell, go ahead, get on your side like you were. Okay. All right, resting on that elbow. So you're gonna drive off of this knee here, lift the glutes up, and then open at the top. You feel those glutes? Mm -hmm. And then close back down, all the way back down, and drive, open, squeeze the Should glutes, be opening. don't rotate. Don't, so it's not a, not, not a, all lower half. Not Frank a spinal rotation. Very strong up top, right? So of course <laughs> he wants to use that back and that lumbar support to bah, muscle it out. It's all in the lower half. So if you're just starting a clamshell, go down, and you can just simply open those knees. So this is where people would start you here. Can start here. Okay. Yep. Or you can go to a lower resistance and you can go and get both sides of the glute because you're pushing through that from the glute. Mm, so this knee is for, is activating this left yes, glute the and then this one is opening it up. Exactly. Okay. So where do people start though? So if you are just a beginner, is it more worried about feeling the glute work or is it the resistance? So would I focus definitely on- It's definitely gonna be the muscle, right? Okay. So just like, I, I mean, you can lift a heavy dumbbell all day, but if you have crappy form, yeah. it's not gonna work the muscle. You're not gonna get the results that we want. So ideally, one, mini bands are great resistance if you don't have any weights. If you're mm -hmm. in a hotel room, guess what? You have five different resistance, which is great. But maybe you are starting and that's a really valid point. Maybe the green band, that white band is too too hard for you as well. Okay. You can literally go no bands. Just the movement, just you the clamshell. Just do the movement. The okay. clamshell movement itself, just that open and close, might be enough for some people. This is the compound channel, so I'm assuming you guys are a little bit more advanced. You can do that movement still with no band on by just pushing off that knee and opening up at the top. Like that, it's gonna work that you feel mm, that lower glute working. Yeah. Obviously, I'm torturing teaching Frank today, and I gave him the black band. <laughs> so that's gonna be our clamshell movement again. Mm. Um, it's very hard for him to do, but at How the many top. Reps? Listen, for mini bands, ideally, 
I feel like for resistance training, we do try to count reps. I mean, I would go to maybe 10, 15, 20, okay. and then maybe do five more. That's what I would like to do. Because resistance bands are different for everybody, just as weight is different. Yeah. So you just want to make sure that it's giving that nice, good burn. And there's always control in the use of the mini band. You notice that Frank isn't letting his knees snap close. The mini band's job is to close just like a rubber band. Your job is to create the resistance. You feel it, right? <laughs> <laughs> Your job is to create the resistance and the contraction in both aspects. So, yeah. all right, I'm going to give you help up. Okay. All right. Our next one. Keep He's going to be, keep it on. So you're at the high band position. My next one is going to be a toe tap. So high band position, mind you, Frank doesn't use mini bands, so he might have to stay at the high band position. We're going to load one leg and we're going to 45 degree angle, squeeze that glute, tap, 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 fast. Squeeze, drive, squeeze that glute at the top. What am I feeling on this leg working? Right here, you feel okay, that glute? Yeah. This quad is loaded, so yeah. you're gonna feel a little bit of strain there, but make sure as you're tapping, you get in that angle, that 45 angle, and you're squeezing that glute. Do you feel it? Mm -hmm. Again, now go faster. Warm, go, 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 go. Do you feel that glute? Mm -hmm. So, you know, I'm gonna take it easy on Frank a little bit. You can go to the mid band position if you'd okay, like. Well, I want to even Actually, this not, out because I'm going to feel weird I'm if not I don't. I'm going to go easy on him, guys. Shh. The lower the band goes, the harder it's going to be. Okay, so actually, we're going to go to the low band position with the heavy band, of course. So down here. Yep, just below, just above the ankles. And now, further from the anchor, now you're going. <clears throat> Whew, how does that feel? So. This, I feel more in this side, less okay. in the left leg. There when it was go. up here, I felt more left quad activation because I was having to keep the knee rotated yeah. in because I didn't want my knee yeah. giving in. So talk about the importance of that, knee right? Knee stabilization. Yeah. You can actually use mini bands to actually um, train the knee too. So a lot of people will anchor it and you can get that rotation just to strengthen that ball mm. socket, jo the joint right there too. All right. That's your toe tap. Ooh. Again, another movement for awesome legs. You may toe tap. We got the clamshell, we got the toe tap. Again, the heaviest band is the darkest band. My last one is my favorite. It is an iso squat lateral walk. Okay. So we know what an iso squat is, right? Sure. We find the squat and we hold it. Okay. But we're gonna go three to the right and three to the left. That's one rep. So if I give you five reps, one, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, one rep, three to the right, three to the left. So find your iso squat position. High, mid, low. Hmm. We haven't done anything in the mid yet. Can we do that one for yes, here? Yes, I was for... going to let him choose, and I'm glad he, he chose a middle resistance. Okay. All right, so find that ISO squat, and you're going to go three to the right, three left. One, two, three. Back. One, two, three. That's one rep. Two, two, three. Two, two, three. All right, so while we're wrapping these out, ISO squat, obviously he's in that squat position. His core is nice and tight. His chest is high. He's finding balance with his hands as well. And he is not breaking that, he's not standing up at all. How do those quads feel, Frank? They're on fire. <laughs> he's breaking the sweat right now. It's definitely not for the week. Keep going, keep going. So these are actually, it's a great workout in itself. A lot of people will use these as activators. So before they do leg day, they get those neurons firing to those muscles, get the blood flowing. He's filling his quads. He's definitely feeling in the glutes, the adductors. Yeah. Yes. Whew. All the way. His core is tight, so he's not straining the back. You did notice that he wasn't like this. His legs weren't straight. He actually had a good iso squat, wrap stomach the entire time he was doing that movement. How did, do you think that, that was the hardest one? That felt good. I could see a lot of value maybe for athletes yes. out there doing that. I mean, yeah. on a line, anybody that's got lateral mm -hmm. type of movements, forward, backwards. Well, wow, that was great. I mean, any functional movement, right? So yeah, a lot of, we talk about like movement patterns and stuff and we do lift, we love to lift heavy, but again, like athletes, but we're all athletes at the end of the day. We're mm. all humans and being able to not necessarily work those heavy mover muscles, but those intricate muscles too, that that's gonna, the yeah. connectors that support our big muscles that we're lifting heavy with. It's so important, those mini bands, that time under tension, it's no joke. Yeah. I'm so, all right, Frank, Ooh. what do you think? I like it. Thank you. Thank you, Ashley. You're very welcome. All right, guys. Where can, I, they, where can they get these again? Again, thank you for asking. I was just about to say, comment below. I'm giving them to you for free. You can literally put them in your gym bag, take them in your suitcase, put them in your purse, literally wherever. And again, you get five bands from a low resistance. You can do upper body. I think that's something that I'll probably do in the future. Yeah, we definitely need to do. How much are these? 
free. F R E E zero 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 zero. Click free. the link. Click the link. Click the link. Free bands. Just do it. We'll see you next time. Thanks, Ashley. Bye.